Investigative team has been digging into the fireball safety history. On your side, Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us now live. And Ron, you've uncovered serious structural deficiencies in the past. Well, we obtained these past service bulletins issued by the rides manufacturer, and they reveal issues involving cracks and welds that were weak. This is video of the fireball supplied by the ride's owner, Amusements of America, the largest traveling amusement park in the world. More than 100 rides. In a statement, the company said, the ride was inspected by our staff as well as independent inspectors prior to the opening at the Ohio State Fair. But it's manufactured by KMG, a company based in the Netherlands. <laughs> We obtained these past service bulletins issued by KMG and raising concerns. In 2007, engineers found structural fatigue cracking of the swing arm, adding all rides need to be reinforced. And in 2009, structural steel involving shoulder restraints was weakened, but not the results of fatigue and no additional annual inspections are needed. Today, the company issued this statement, saying it's currently gathering information on yesterday's accident and investigating the cause and circumstance. It also urged to cease operation of the ride until further notice. Well, amusement rides in Ohio are required to be inspected just once a year, but surprise inspections can also be done randomly. We found just nine inspectors for more than 3,000 rides in Ohio. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.